Hello everyone, welcome to another Like a Dragon Asian guide. This time we'll be going over the trooper card system that is integrated into the combat. With the original Asian, these were restricted to the dungeon missions only, but now you're able to use them in most places. One exception is something like the arena, where you have to rely just on your equipment. You're introduced to the trooper system after a certain point in the story where you're told about the dungeon missions in the Shinsengumi HQ, so keep that in mind if you're still in the early game. Trooper cards allow you to not only use their individual unique effects that range from buffs to powerful attacks, but they also increase your maximum health. Once you use their active effect, you'll have to wait for some time until you can do it again. First and foremost, let's talk about how you get troopers. There's two ways that I've done and are sufficient. Number one, the enlistment tab in the dungeon mission menu. You'll have four options here, and they gradually unlock as you play through the story. The highest tier one should be available at around chapter 11 or so. That's the one you want to aim for because all the lower ones don't give you legendary cards and all the cards from lower tiers are also in the highest pool anyway. Something you can do if you don't have much money and you want a specific card or a favorite character from the highest tier is good old saves coming. Basically save the game before you enter the dungeon menu, go to enlistment, pick the highest option, and see if it's the card you want. If it's not, load your game again and try again. This method takes patience and time though, so my recommendation is that you just farm more money than you know what to do with, which thanks to a recently discovered bug, you should be able to do that with ease. Check out these two videos that I made to help with that. The link will be in the description. Number two, street fights. Though not just any street fights. There are mobs roaming around with a certain hooded guy among them, and the hood in question looks like this. It could be in multiple colors, but most of the time you'll see a red one. This mob will grant you a trooper after you're done fighting, and there's a chance of getting a legendary one. Now let's talk about what makes each card unique. Each card has two things called trooper ability and corporal trait. Trooper ability is basically an active ability that you have to activate yourself, and corporal trait is a passive ability that's always active without you doing anything, but only if that card is in the corporal position when you're adjusting the cards. Basically, if that card is in the leader position. Next, we'll talk about what goes into leveling up these troopers. You can assign different troopers or the same ones to all four fighting styles. You'll be able to level up the troopers by just winning fights, almost any fight really. Street fights, dungeon mission fights, story fights, and and so on. The arena is once again an exception to this. You can also feed or fuse cards to level up your desired cards as well. First, make sure the card you want to level up is in the formation. You can do that by selecting Edit Troopers to put on the cards you want to enhance or use. Then you go to Fuse Troopers, pick the card you want to level up, and then pick the fodder cards you don't want, and then finalize the selection, and they'll be used to level up that card. There's an extra layer that goes into enhancing your cards too, and that's the ability to enhance the trooper ability and also the corporal trait. To enhance the trooper ability, you need a duplicate of the same card first. All you have to do after that is select the leveled up version of your card in Fused Troopers once again, and then you select that level 1 duplicate, and just like that, the trooper ability will be enhanced and it should be more powerful. Or if it's an effect, the effect should last a little longer. To level up the corporal trait of a card, go to Corporal Traits. This one works a little different. Your troopers will need a specific weapon given to them to level up their traits. I think most of these can be crafted at the blacksmith, at least from what I've seen so far. If you need some help with the blacksmith, I made a guide on how to level up the blacksmith level quickly and another guide on material locations. The links to those will be in the description. Hey, don't look at me like that. When I said in one of the previous guides that all this grind is one big cycle and you'd keep going back to something else to get one thing done, I wasn't lying. One more layer of enhancing the cards is the promotion option. If you have these promotion jewels, you're gonna be able to basically limit break a card and then reset their level. But they still keep their stats and they will only allow their stats to go beyond their initial maximum level. You can buy these promotion jewels from the Shinto Priest Virtue Shop you can find them in the upper left corner of the main area away from the Shinsengumi HQ. You'll need to unlock the virtue shop from the shrine first and also expand the item selection his shop has. I already explained how to farm virtue in my money guide, but to put it briefly, whenever you sell and also buy items from shops, you gain virtue based on the amount of money. Having the virtuous hood that you can craft from the blacksmith will also increase the amount of virtue you get every time. Something you should be aware of, this slim blue bar up here is something called Trooper Morale. Now, I don't know if this does 
as anything positive, but if it's at zero and then you lose a battle, apparently they have a chance to leave you. And I didn't know about this, but I was told about it, and apparently you'll be able to find them and recruit them back somewhere in Mukuragai, apparently. Also worth mentioning, some weapons in the blacksmith have built-in trooper enhancement effects, whether that's extra XP or enhancing their effects. Though I feel like you don't really need those, honestly, because it may be at the expense of using other better equipment. And now for the million dollar question, which troopers do I recommend? Probably the best one no question is our boy Shinada. Here's why. His corporal or passive ability enhances your attack and your defense by a lot. And then his trooper ability slows down time. This can save you major headaches with annoying bitches which exist every now and then in this game, and you'll just be able to spam attacks on them, at least for some time. Another one I highly recommend is the Ichiban card, which has amazing synergy with the Shinada card. His corporal ability of increasing your trooper slot by one and charging up the trooper ability faster is nice, but the value comes out of his trooper ability. It will increase your damage by a lot. So using Shinada's ability first and then Ichiban's means you'll slow down time and then deal massive damage to whoever's annoying you. The Psycho card is pretty solid as well since it's just a free heat refill whenever you want it. It's a decent alternative for using items or medicine that recover heat and I found myself using it pretty often. The Makoto card is a free heal card so it's good in the same way Saigo's card is. Though I would say it's maybe a bit less good since you'll likely be carrying heals on you at all times anyway. The Tendo card is phenomenal. You'll shoot a very, very long range energy blast. This can hit multiple times if enemies happen to run into it again. And it's also great for getting rid of shield bars. The Rikia card is another great blast ability. You'll decimate anyone around you and it deals a good bit of damage. These are just some recommendations. There are still cards that I haven't tested or cards that I just haven't mentioned. The aim of this video first and foremost is to just give you an idea of how the trooper card system works and what you can do with it. The cards I mentioned will get you by most of what the game has to offer, so I do hope knowing all of this will come to help you in your Asian journey. That's all for this guide, thank you all so much for watching, if this did help you, a like and a sub in return would help me out a lot. Until the next video or stream, you guys take care, stay safe and stay healthy. I'll be seeing you next time, whenever that is. Bye bye.